All right, welcome to episode number eight of T Kurals. This is the series where Adi and I learn the Tiru Kural together with you. Today, we're going to do Kural number eight. Adi is here. Adi, say hello. Yeah. Hi, guys. So, yeah, as Pui said, we're going to do Kural number eight again from uh, Aram chapter. So, yeah, with that, Puri, take it away. The Kural goes something like this Aravali, Anandan, Serendark, Kallal. So, yeah, so G. Pope's explanation of this squirrel is none can swim the sea of vice, but those who are united to the feet of the gracious being who is the sea of virtue. So, I think what he's saying is like the world is a sea of vice, and only the virtue, like only the people who follow the being who is a, who is a whole sea of virtue can can pass the sea of vices. So what do you think? I really like Solomon Papaya's uh, explanation for this. He sort of uh, goes about calling life a uh, arakadal, which means the life of uh, virtues or ethics. And in order to swim that, it's really hard if you given to these materialistic desires you have uh, and i really like that explanation uh, and i think that and i i agree with that uh, to a pretty large degree because i think when i was young i think I, like all 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 teenagers we were, like we all want the gucci bags and the uh, business class fights to take photos and uh, show your friends right that's what life was about and and you always you're like a dream car rolls royce you're all talking about that but i think as you grow, and I think again, I, I again, I'm like 20 years old, so like I haven't grown, but I think you slowly start to realize, and I think I'm, I'm still in the process of realizing where you don't sort of need all that, and you can still ha- find happiness in life, and mm. oftentimes it just goes on to being consistent and not expecting things out of life, but living life, and when you and ha- the best way to usually live life is with the set of good practices and sustainable living is what I call it. Right? Sustainable living is not just good practices, but the ability to, ability to live consistently without getting into conflicts. And often these good practices will help you live that, you know, so it's sort of like in, in code, we call it best practices. You code this consistently, you will have less errors. It will be maintainable code. So, uh, so have, there's the best practices towards uh, life, I believe. I mean, I don't know what they are, but they're definitely there in my opinion you know you can you can sort of stably live life for about 100 years without much uh, aberration with uh, life uh, and i think uh, giving into these materialistic uh, desires might find you temporary happiness so i wouldn't even call them happiness i'd say it fulfills an expectation but you'll be you'll i actually as uh, people say it doesn't live up to the expectations i actually say it actually lives up to the expectations you just didn't know how shallow the expectation was. Uh, you you probably thought it's a massive hole that it's filling. You'd be very surprised it filled a very small hole. Uh, but you know, creative endeavors, endeavors where you meet people and traveling, things like that are genuinely, I think, give you insight and sort of understand, uh, sort of give you perspective and scale as to where you are on the planet and the universe at large. I think that is very good, and those and that is the arakadal that we are trying to swim. That's how I look at this Kurul. Pretty rambly, but Kurul hit hard, man. What can I say? Adi, what do you think? For me, uh, so I was like, long time ago, I was writing this poem. Uh, and this poem was about this ant. And this ant was trying to get to the top of a rose because it was like uh, completely astonished by the, like, the side angle of this rose and wanted to know what it feels to be on the top of the rose and it starts climbing the shrub to to reach the top of the rose and it goes through like so many thorns and everything but to the size of the ant these thorns are like sharp mountains to it right yeah and it has to go through like so much and such a long distance but it can't be bothered by all these things because all it can see is a rose at the top that's mm. all in its sight and mm. I think that's how it is, right? Like, once you have, like, 
a certain set of rules or goals or certain thing that you want to do i don't think you can you can even see the downfalls of your own life the, the, you can't even mm. see the journey that it takes to reach there you, you you're so enamored by the goal that you don't see the journey that it like the hardship yeah. and the journey that it took you yeah correct i think often it's the reflection that is very beautiful and in fact i think even after achieving the goal right it's not that nice it's the reflection of the journey the things you've learned in the process that is what i think is yeah. really beautiful it is the product of the journey that's more beautiful than achieving the goal itself which are two different things actually uh yeah with those sort of heavy heavy hearted interpretations uh <laughs> tell us what you think on instagram dm us leave comments we are posting uh, a post for every kural uh with the with the explanation and the kural itself uh and again keep the discussion going that's what we like and on that note thank you so much for listening nandri manakam